If you have a problem with your secondary images not showing up on Amazon, this is the video for you. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. I literally just had a coaching session where somebody paid me $500 and I fixed this issue for them. And I'm now going to share it to you for free. The only thing I ask for in return is that you add a comment when this helps you. If you go into Seller Central and you have an issue with an item not showing the secondary images, this is the most important thing you need to check. On the far right hand side, where you see there's a drop down column for UPC and EAN, right? This does need to be enabled. So if you haven't enabled this, go up to the preferences column in the top right and enable UPC. The thing I wanna call out here is that if you are loading products and using an ASIN in the, in the GTIN field, instead of using the UPC or the EAN, this will cause catalog problems, potentially massive problems. When you click edit on the listing and you go in here and you look at the product ID type, notice how this is grayed out. This field cannot be changed, not at least manually. The solution is to do a full template upload. For those that are not familiar with template uploads, this part is a little bit scary. If you have never done a template upload before, I got to tell you, you're probably better off hiring an expert. If you've done it before, then go ahead and proceed. On this page, go over to inventory, add products via upload, and download an inventory file. Once you download the inventory file, you can select it from here to physically download it. Here is a file I have previously downloaded. In here, you want every single one of these fields fully filled out. And the key here is in this external product ID field. This is in column E as an echo and column F as in Frank. You need to have the UPC listed here. And then you need to call it UPC from this drop down right there. You're going to switch the product ID field from ASIN to UPC. And so you would put the actual UPC number in, in the echo column. It's a lot of work to fill out that full field. So I'm going to give you another tip. This is also worth another $500 coaching session. In my opinion, go to help, click on contact, get support. And what we're going to do in this ticket is ask Amazon to give you access to a full category export report. And what's really neat about this is the ability to get every one of your fields exported into a template. That way, when you have it already exported, you can re-import it back into Amazon with the one change you want to make. Amazon's ticketing system is a little atrocious, so I tend to go to the Browse from the Issue menu, and I like to go to Products, Listing, or Inventory, and in here, I go to inventory file upload issue. And the reason I do this is because I know this will go to the catalog team who has permission to enable this report. And we're just going to simply ask them. And I always, by the way, I always use the contact reason for my own purposes so I can go back and find the cases, right? So category export report is a good way to know, oh, that's what that ticket was about. Um, so in here, please describe your inventory file issue. We're just going to simply say, hi, can you please enable my full category export inventory report. That's it. That's all you got to do. And then you scroll down and hit submit. After you hit submit, you're going to have to wait until they actually respond to the ticket. Could be one or two days. Go to inventory and in here, find the inventory reports, which will bring you to the screen. Now notice in this particular dropdown, I do not at this very moment have access to the category listings report. But as you can see, I recently uploaded it right here. And so you could request this category export report and get full access to all of your data. I recommend routinely doing this because it's a great way to make sure if your catalog ever gets magically deleted through your own incompetence, that can happen, or through Amazon's incompetence also happens. Or maybe a black hat tactic where somebody just edits your detail page against your own will, which is, by the way, a reason for you to want to have brand registry. So if you don't have brand registry, go get that trademark, which, by the way, we offer. 
and uh, it will protect you. All of these things will protect you. So once you get this category listings export exported, instead of having a blank uh, template like the one we have here, it will be filled in with all of your products. I would save version control on this Excel file, call it whatever you'd like, and date it, key being date it. Following that, go ahead and remove every product that doesn't have an issue and just leave in the ones that do, and then make the change we talked about. Update from ASIN to UPC and fill in the UPC code. One of you, at least one of you, is going to be asking, okay, I don't actually know my own UPC code. Well, if that's the case, you may need to assign a new code, and uh, you may get an error message when you do this, and then they will produce the old original code. Just simply switch back to the old if you run into that error message. If it goes right through, you're good to go, no problem at all. Following this, the change for your images, your images will be in that export, and you'll see the other images linked right here, and you simply just load them in, and they will reflect in less than 15 minutes. That's how you'll know that what I just talked about actually worked. And remember, all I request is you come back and add a comment that this video helped you. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. If you run into something where you can't fix it, check us out at myamazonguy.com to book a coaching call. Or at least subscribe to our more than 600 videos on everything you need to know to sell on Amazon. In the weeds information, if you have a question that you just simply want answered, leave it on a comment to this video or any other video off topic or otherwise. I personally read them all myself. Thanks for watching and Check out my other troubleshooting videos on how to fix a title suppression here.